April is Autism Awareness Month, but some autistic advocates dread this time period full of puzzle piece imagery and lighted up blue campaigns. What's the deal? <laughs> Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's good to see you again. April is Autism Awareness Month, and you may have seen organizations like Autism Speaks promoting campaigns to use the puzzle piece Autism Awareness logo or Light It Up Blue to promote autism awareness. Many well-meaning people have changed their Facebook profiles or email signatures to show support, but some argue these things do more harm than good. Today, we're gonna to talk about why these things are problematic and explore some alternatives that you can do instead. First, Autism is a developmental condition in which people exhibit differences in ability to read social cues, form and maintain social relationships, and tend to have patterns of intense interest in specific topics, and may have sensory sensitivities of various kinds. It's not an intellectual disability, with autistic individuals ranging the full range of IQ values. It's not a disease, and there is no cure. In fact, many autistic self-advocates find it insulting that someone would want to cure them. For these individuals, their autism is an important part of their identity and they like who they are and how they think, often citing talents to perceive things that others do not. We've covered how the autistic community often prefers identity first language rather than person first language for exactly this reason. In other words, an autistic person instead of a person with autism. Instead of awareness that autism exists, self-advocates suggest that we need autism acceptance, where society learns about what autism really means and how autistic individuals can be better accommodated to ensure everybody benefits from their unique talents. Indeed, a number of scientists and authors have recognized how important autistic traits have been at moving society forward, promoting scientific discovery, invention, and innovation. It turns out this philosophical difference surrounding identity is key to understanding the problem with puzzle pieces. The puzzle piece imagery was popularized by the charitable organization Autism Speaks. They are the most well-known autism-related charity and they're responsible for popularizing the puzzle piece imagery, developing the Light It Up Blue campaign, and lobbying to establish Autism Awareness Month. The problem is that Autism Speaks was founded by neurotypical individuals with autistic family members. This means that they have historically advocated for some problematic issues, such as searching for an autism cure and prenatal screenings to allow people to choose not to have autistic children. And they've encouraged parents to mourn the loss of their autistic child upon diagnosis as if they had died. Autism Speaks has released ads depicting autism as a scary boogeyman that will find you in your house and ruin your marriage. I am autism. I know where you live. And guess what? I live there too. I will make sure that your marriage fails. And there's another ad where a woman describes considering driving her autistic daughter off of a bridge. Now that's all pretty gross, but they've also had a poor history of including autistic individuals in their decision-making processes. They once added an autistic individual to their board, but that person resigned in disgust when they were ignored and marginalized. In short, Autism Speaks is a problematic organization, and the fact that they are associated with these icons of autism awareness can be a real turnoff. Imagine that dogs were in charge of creating the symbol for cat awareness. Do you think the cats would appreciate that? <laughs> Identity groups can create their own imagery. But it goes deeper than that, because it turns out the imagery itself is problematic. A 2017 study by Morton Ann Gernsbacher and colleagues explored how neurotypical people viewed puzzle piece imagery in other situations not related to autism. What they found was that both the imagery used for autism logos and puzzle pieces in general were associated with things like incompleteness and oddity and imperfection. The authors Riley concluded in their abstract, if the organization's intention is to evoke positive associations, our results suggest that the puzzle piece imagery should probably be avoided. Imagine applying this to any other group. Maybe football fans could have an, a football shaped hole in their brain. Maybe construction workers could have a logo with a loose screw. <laughs> the puzzle pieces are infantilizing and suggest something is wrong with autistic people, which is really insulting. Autism is not a puzzle to be solved, nor do they have a missing piece. The use of puzzle pieces can actively promote harm and prejudice against the very people that Autism Speaks claims to help. So what should we do instead? 
Autistic self-advocates are adopting their own imagery and icons. For example, recently a rainbow infinity symbol has been adopted as a symbol for neurodiversity. And it particularly is meaningful to autistic individuals because of the so-called autistic spectrum. Well, a light spectrum is a rainbow. Neurodiversity is inclusive of other things as well, such as ADHD, dyslexia, dyspraxia, Tourette's, and more other ways of thinking or being. Some autistic advocates have adopted gold as a symbolic color, as gold appears on the periodic table with the letters A and U, which could stand for autism. But really, I encourage you not to worry so much about symbols and imagery and t-shirts and virtue signaling this month. Instead of autism awareness, let's try and shift towards autism acceptance. There are so many bad autistic stereotypes out there and so much stigmatizing because people don't know what autism actually is or looks like. This is bad because many people go their whole lives without knowing they're autistic, but instead feel like they are just failures at life, when in fact their only flaw is that they're trying to fit into a neurotypical expectation of what life should be. It's like being a saltwater fish in fresh water. Therefore, I encourage you to actively seek out autistic voices. There are lots of autism and Asperger specific channels on YouTube that you can check out, as well as on the other social media platforms. Sharing actual experiences of autistic individuals is probably the best thing you can do to help right now, to help people become more aware of the value of autistic people and simple changes that society can make to help accommodate them. We don't balk at having handicapped parking spaces outside of stores and restaurants. Maybe we could turn the music down a little and not put the perfume section right at the entrance to the mall, and it might make a huge difference for people with sensory sensitivities. More flexibility at work to allow autistic people to determine how they work best, such as working for long periods on one project each day instead of working on many projects each day for a shorter period of time. Email them or text instead of a phone call. Many accommodations may be no big deal at all. When you see the Puzzle Piece logo, don't assume the worst. Many people are well-meaning and are just trying to help. But at the same time, be aware that when many autistic people see this kind of iconography, it tells them that the person is either unaware of the history of the symbol or did not consult with actual autistic people about it. By listening and including people in the conversation, you can be part of the solution and respect the phrase, nothing about us without us. Until next time, keep thinking.